how solar inverter works as per our household needs we require ac power supply as input which is used in fans lights etc and we know that our solar panel gives dc power supply so this dc power supply must has to be converted into ac supply to do this we need a inverter so this inverter will invert the dc to the ac supply and this can be further used in our home appliances so let understand first how this inverter works our solar panel will give a dc supply and this dc supply we have to convert into ac of a prox 50 to 60 hertz commonly we are using 50 to 60 hertz for our home applications so how can we convert this constant voltage to the varying one as we can see here it's kind of sinusoidal wave whose time period is 20 millisecond so to achieve this variation in amplitude we can use this kind of approach let's suppose if we are able to manipulate our dc supply like this kind of variation in steps we can achieve this sinusoidal waveform so let's understand now how can we achieve this kind of averaged output to get this we can use pulse width modulation pwm so what this will do with this pulse width modulation approach if we pass this dc supply or we keep this dc supply off and on for certain period like here this dc is passed for very shorter period so in average it will form a shorter amplitude and the time we are increasing this on time period the amplitude of waveform will also increase so as we can see here for this shorter one the amplitude is lesser and for greater on time period the amplitude is increasing and again here when we reduce the on time its amplitude has also reduced so in this way we can achieve positive half cycle and for the negative half cycle if we supply this dc in the reverse way and similar kind of off and on approach we can also achieve this negative half cycle so to turn on and off we can use very high switching device like igbt so here four igbts are used q1 q2 q3 and q4 and the load which is ac is connected in between and these igbts can be controlled by controlling its gate terminal and this we can easily control with the help of microcontroller let's see now how can we generate the positive half cycle for positive half cycle we have to control q1 and q4 and the current will flow like this and this time q3 and q2 are in off condition so with the help of microcontroller we can easily control these igbts and by turning on and off q1 and q4 we can have this kind of output and for this negative half we need to just turn off the q1 and q4 and start controlling q2 and q3 so its path will be like this and we can achieve the negative half of the ac so as a summary the time period for which we are controlling q1 and q4 will decide the positive half cycle and and the time period for which we are controlling q2 and q3 will decide the negative half of the cycle so with this kind of controlling approach we can generate ac signal with the different frequencies this was the small explanation about how the solar inverter works let me know if you have any queries or any further input thanks for watching